there are some peculiarities associated with the moment of a force. Uh, I remember when I was a student, I'd be reading something, I'd go, what? I mean, this doesn't make sense. Or to me, why is it this way? Well, let me point out a couple things here, and it's not a big deal. You can live life, and maybe you would never stumble conceptually on these what I call peculiarities. But think about it. In the SI, when you have a problem in SI units, what do they normally give you as the units on the moment of the force? Newton meter. Just look at your problems. All right, there's a few problems with foot and pounds, aren't there? All right, USCS, United States customary, we, we kind of let the English go, but there's some books say, oh, this is the English set of units, but if you go to England, they're not using it. So I think we, we should say it's in the customary use still in the United States today. Maybe not in 2020, maybe not in 2040 or whatever, but it's still in customary use. So if you look at that, basically they put foot pound. Do you see the difference? Which one's first? Either the force or the length? Maybe you say, I don't care. Oh, okay. But it is customary to put Newton meter and then switch it and put foot pound. The foot pound uh, unit is LGS? Uh, uh, if, if there's any... Um, when I teach thermodynamics, not in this textbook, this book, they don't really talk much about pound mass. Right? And it's all just pound force. It's all forces, right? Okay. But uh, when I do another class, to, be, to, to avoid the ambiguity, I'll put a LBM or a LBF just to make sure. I'm talking about pound mass here or pound force, so that's a little carryover. Uh, it's not used in this textbook. Okay. But, but, but basically, it's a pound, not a mass, but a pound force. So it's a foot pound. How many people are old mechanics? And... Uh, they go and they have torque wrenches, right? You can go to this company. I just went, there's a couple outlets, one of them not too far away from us at UTSA, Granger. You can buy all kinds of equipment from them. And I just use this as an example. I said, okay, show me your torque, torque wrenches. It would show me all the possible units that it would display on my torque wrench. And it said, okay, well, the, the ones with the biggest, highest count, like they have 217, would give you units of newton meter that's very consistent with what we've been dealing with another high count is foot pound see the switch now the length is first and then the force is second but that's a mechanic would talk about foot pounds and you'd say no i want the the the, the torque on these bolts to be 140 pound foot they would look at you like what you want the torque to be 140 foot pounds I mean, that's what you want. All right. But also, they have inch pound. You can get uh, torque wrenches that show inch pound. But uh, let's take a look. How about this one? There's not too many of them, but Newton centimeter. Does that make sense? Sure, it's a force times a distance. Oh, no. A meter kilogram. They can't fool us. We're good engineering students. And we learned that the kilogram is a mass, not a force. But anyway, I think I covered this already. If somebody uh, from Mexico or some international student here, they don't think in pounds, they don't think in degrees F, they think temperature in degrees C, they think mass in kilos. That's a kilogram. It's very, very common to talk about force. Just like sometimes you'll even see that. Kilogram force, kilogram mass, just in the context of what it is. All right. But this is like a kilogram force. Yeah. It's slang. It works. All right. Inch, uh, inch ounces work. Very rare, though. Uh, inch pounds definitely work. Uh, foot pounds. But look at up here. Centimeter, kilogram. Same thing is down here. The meter, kilogram. So this is what I would call a peculiarity. And if you take a look at some wrenches, here's some dial uh, torque wrenches I just grabbed. You can find on the same gauge, inch pound, and then Newton meter. Uh, over here, this is one. This is a company, a very reputable company, made them for many, many, many years. Maybe you're a mechanic, you recognize that name, as well as this snap on. Uh, recognize the name uh, Newton meter over here you have foot pound you can barely read it but it's under there one other thing 
Is this a pound or a pounds with an S? It's an S. I know the typographical police didn't get out there, grammatical police didn't get out there and correct them, but really it's just inch pound. But we'll, we'll probably say something like pluralize it, inch pounds. It, you see that both ways. Um, here's another S, pluralizing. But we don't, we, the editors would like to not pluralize when you don't need to. All right. All right, let's see if there's another one. Take a look at our equations. Remember our equation for the scalar formulation? How was it written in our textbook? Wasn't it F times D? Which came first in that equation? The force or the distance? The force. All right, let's take a look at our vector equation. R cross F. Which came first in that equation? R representing a displacement, a distance. See that? That's a little peculiarity. You say, why doesn't the book do D times F? That would be more consistent with R cross F as vectors. They just didn't. <laughs> okay, and maybe another book would fix that or, or pay attention or try not to. But, but if you stumble on some things, I don't want you to stumble on that. But that's just a peculiarity. Very consistent out there. Well, you know, it's just... That's the way it's done, is it's a uh, scalar is F times F D, and then it's R cross F. If somebody says, well, let's just do F cross R, is that going to give you the same result as R cross F? No, it'll give me the right magnitude, but it'll give me the wrong direction. It's negative, opposite direction. All right. <clears throat> 